Hi, Margaret. It's Carl again. Hope you're having a great week. Um, so thrilled to be here with you again, playing some more amazing instruments for, for you to check out. Um, so I hope you're having a great week first. Um, so we've got today the Chrysler and the Canone per your request. So happy to be playing these two instruments for you. They both sound terrific. Both of them have pretty similar uh, tonal qualities. They are both really robust, very um, great projection, huge sound. Uh, they're on the brighter side, which is perfect for a soloist, and they sound just awesome under the ear. So I'll go through them uh, one by one. We'll play them a little bit and then talk a little bit as it comes up. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be showing you is gonna be the Chrysler. So as you can see, beautiful antiqued finish. Amazing work on the scroll. And just absolutely gorgeous flamed maple back on this. Okay. And just looks amazing. Uh, so we're gonna put this shoulder rest on. Again, just an incredibly warm, bright sound. Listen to that incredible, just gorgeous, gorgeous overtones coming out of this instrument and just a huge sound. So really, I, I'm just in love with playing this instrument. I think this would make a great choice for you, but hold on for number two, the Canone. So here we have the Bench Canone, another incredibly uh, rich um, and complex instrument. So I'm gonna start by holding this up for you. Just a beautiful finish to this. The varnish is just really well done. Really amazing work on the scroll as well. And on the back, we have just absolutely gorgeous flamed maple. Just a real pleasure to hold and to play. It's really important that instruments sound good under your ear as well as out there in the audience as you're gonna be, I'm sure, spending hours a day uh, with this under your ears. So uh, anyway, here we go with a little trial for this. Again, just nice, really sweet overtones. And again, another gorgeous instrument. So 
You know, usually I have a preference between two instruments when I play them. These are very, very similar in tone and quality, so I think with either of those, you'd be really well served. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I wish you the best of luck on your violin journey ahead. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks so much.